You are welcome to my channel. Ahead in this video, we'll look at common faults that occur in CCTV camera installations. We'll look at the causes of those faults and how to rectify or correct those faults whenever they occur in your CCTV camera installation. Let's go into it together and ensure you watch to the end. The first common fault we want to discuss is no signal information, just as you can see here in camera 3. There are two possible causes of this problem. The number one cause may be power-related problems, and the number two cause may be video-related problems. I will take you through how you can narrow down on what might be the exact cause of this problem so that you can solve it whenever you experience this phenomenon. The first step I will recommend in this situation is to do a visual inspection of your system, starting from the power supply unit. You have to look out for the presence of power in your power supply unit and further look out for power going to individual cameras. When you observe the power unit on your screen, you will realize that the four cameras are connected to pair 2, 3, 4, and 5 in the power supply unit. You will also realize that the indicator light for the fifth camera is off. That might be the cause of that camera going off. There are two things I will recommend that you do here. Number one, you may either change the fuse for this power output pair. Or number two, you can move the camera to a new pair below. I will go for the second option, which is to move that camera power to a new power supply pair. So look at how I will do it. I'm done, so I will turn on the main power. Now that the indicator light is on for that camera, power is expected at the terminals of that camera. In order to confirm the presence of power at the terminals of the camera, we will use this device called a multimeter, which will help us to check for the voltage across the terminals of the camera. The camera uses a 12 volts DC power. So with the multimeter tuned to DC voltage, I will measure the voltage at the terminals of the camera. There you have it. The voltage here is 12.34 volts, which means that power is getting to the camera. With what we have done, the system should work, showing all the four cameras. If after doing all the power checks and the no video persists, the video terminations will be the next possible cause. There will be need to check the BNC terminations at the back of the DVR and also at the camera where the video cable enters into the camera through the BNC connector. It will be necessary to ensure that there is no disconnect and there is not a bridge of cables that are not supposed to be touching each other. With all that in place, the no video fault will be eliminated. The next common fault that we want to look at is unstable video or a situation that is illustrated in the camera one here, as you can see. The cause of this is very straightforward. It is normally caused by loose BNC terminations. In this case, you need to re-terminate the video cables properly and that will eliminate this problem. Remote view connection challenges that result in messages such as connection failed are also a common problem in CCTV camera installations. What are the causes of this problem? Most often than not, Remote view problems are caused by, number one, internet problems and also wrong settings or configurations. 
for effective remote viewing of your CCTV system on a phone or a PC, there must be an effective internet connection into the DVR or NVR. An effective internet that supports remote view can be verified when the NVR or DVR shows that the device is online. On the contrary, whenever the DVR or NVR shows device offline, just as I have on my screen, you cannot assess your cameras on your phone or PC. So the bottom line is that your internet connection must be effective in order to achieve your remote view on your mobile phone or on your PC. In case you have challenges doing your remote view configuration for your phone or PC, I have placed links to videos in the description box and you can visit them to learn how to do remote view configuration for your phone or PC view. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.